Hello everyone, Susie Gamer here and welcome back to the Small Lands. Quite stunning survival game, uh, well beyond my expectations. It even has Spider-Man web swinging. Are you serious? They nailed it. After finishing the campaign, etc. Gained a lot of knowledge, decided to make this beginner friendly tutorial, which will ease your job. You'll progress much more efficiently. Developers keep updating this game, so some of the stuff I say might change with new updates. Be advised. Uh, before we start, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Let's begin. There is a really efficient weapon that you can gain in a dangerous zone for free. Uh, however, be advised, you need to get into the sewer and there is a lot of cockroaches, flies and also Black Widow there. At the end you'll see this corpse. And it will contain a spear that does decent amount of damage and also poisonous damage. I mean, this weapon can get you all the way till the end of the game. Try to get it. And also repair it regularly. Don't break it. Build your first base next to Scotty. You can find most of the important resources at the beach. This is where you will spend most of your gameplay. After you reach Skadi, your first job should be build mandible pickaxe. After that, you can build flint tools. With these tools, you can now maximize your resource gathering. Foxtail plants at the beach drop 5 fiber and saplings around the map 5 wood. So I can easily say fiber and wood is the most important resources in the game. Because they're required to build structures, wooden arrow and most importantly bandage. Try to get many as you can. If you're about to engage a boss, you can place foundations around it. At time to time it will switch targets, it will not attack you, but will go directly to foundation and meanwhile you can damage it. You can also use these foundations to go around them and block direct rush of the boss. Every insect have chasing radius. You can abuse it. After bug stops, it will not gain HP. You can keep repeating this hit and run tactic, especially if you're solo. At the workbench, you can build this cool item called Ladybug Travel Kit. Oh yeah, I can tame it now. Come on, come here. <laughs> come here, you little. It's running in fear. Here we go. Now it's tamed. As you can see, you have this little uh, companion. <laughs> Looks kind of cute. These bastards are getting really aggressive at night, though. Whoa! That's why. <laughs> Play the buck. Don't touch it. Did you see how it runs away? That's actually good because most of the companions will attack, causing them to die. But this one, as soon as it's in danger, it's uh, run the opposite side, so you can save it in time. You can't mount on it though. <laughs> That's the problem. It would look kind of silly anyways. When I press use, it has 20 storage space, so I can just put stuff in it. Take this, like that. A really cool mechanic, love it. If you feel cold or freezing, build a foundation, try to put it high as possible and hide underneath. Map is not flat, so if you don't want to waste time climbing mountains and hills, try to build many structures as possible, bridges, ramps, etc. Every tool and armor set can be damaged. A good thing about this game, if it's slightly damaged, you can repair it for free at the workbench. But if HP goes below 50%, it will require materials to repair it. So repair regularly, do not forget. To collect materials faster, hold F, do not press it. If you hold F, it will just pick it all. Try to get winged suit quickly as possible. The cheapest one is in a Drustana. 
here are the materials that's required to craft it. And there is a much more armored version located at the Nook. Through our gameplay walkthrough, I will skip marking the map and writing text underneath it. I recommend you to do same stuff, or you can just screenshot mine. Here are the materials and enemies I marked. A lot of mining happened around here. If you just started the game, do not waste time by collecting food around. Put a bed somewhere, set a spawn point and respawn. As you can see my hunger bar is 29 now. Uh, I'm clicking on stuck, which basically respawns the character. Spawn again next to the bed. Now the hunger bar is 75. And I can just collect my materials back. That's it. There are some treats that are allowing you to tame bugs. You can use bugs as transportation. Currently the best transportation bug is a damselfly. You can fly with it. It's basically a hovercraft. Watch out though, you can sink with it if you fly over a river. However, they're extremely hard to keep alive. You need to constantly park them somewhere. If you look at it, you will see a bunch of options. Stay, follow, release and mount. You can even tame a gecko. If you press left click, they will do an attack. If you press space while flying a damselfly, it will gain altitude. They can be useful, but also annoying to keep alive. If you drop a food next to them, they will eat it and gain a lot of HP. You can get this damselfly treat from the elder. After defeating one boss, it will drop a key. It's the king stack beetle. In the stone oven, it unlocks here. Uh, there are some other treats already unlocked in the previous building, which is cauldron. As you can see, grasshopper treat, gecko treat, wolf spider treat. That's how you tame them. Stone oven could be a bit harder to build. You need clay mortar. Clay is located at the right bottom of the map, usually around this area, uh, which is the last area you'll discover. Okay, I can tame. Now it's mine. Here we go. And as you can see, it can slowly heal itself as well. So your main base is at the Skadi, but there is this trees around the map that covered in mushrooms. Basically, you can teleport your base between them if you claim one tree. Make sure that base will be your biggest one, uh, so you don't need to build bases all over the map. You can just teleport your single base in different locations for free. So yeah, after you climb on top of the tree, speak to the gnome and claim the tree. Now you even have a lift, hot air balloon, will allow you to go down and climb back up in safety. And my last tip, but it's not necessary, find a buddy to play with. And we can't attack all of you at the same time. You can share tasks while one is mining, other will find food. Or you can coordinate attack every NPC. That's why you can join to our community and find companion. Discord link in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.